Hey, beloved of faith, happy Wednesday. On Sunday, during worship, I spent a tiny amount of time reflecting on how this work of being good enough during Lent reminded me a little bit of the excerpt from the Marjorie Williams children's book, The Velveteen Rabbit. And I promised that I would track down that text and share it with you this week. And so I want to share with you just a snippet about what it means to be real as explained to us in The Velveteen Rabbit. What is real? Asked Rabbit one day when they were lying side by side near the nursery fender before Nana came to tidy the room. Does it mean having things that buzz inside you and a stick out handle? Real isn't how you're made, said the skin horse. It's a thing that happens to you. When a child loves you for a long, long time, not just to play with, but really loves you, then you become real. Does it hurt? Asked the rabbit. Sometimes, says the skin horse, for he was always truthful. When you are real, you don't mind being hurt. Does it happen all at once, like being wound up, he asked, or bit by bit? It doesn't happen all at once, said the skin horse. You become. It takes a long time. That's why it doesn't often happen to people who break easily or have sharp edges or who have to be carefully kept. Generally, by the time you are real, most of your hair has been loved off and your eyes drop out and you get loose in the joints and very shabby. But these things don't matter at all because once you are real, you can't be ugly, except to people who don't understand. I just find that description to be such a beautiful description of how it is we become our fullest selves. There are knocks and hard things that happen in life. And the God who loves us so in moment after moment, no matter what, stands by us, watching us become our very best selves. And this is why I'm holding on to this story or this bit of the story in this season, as we're thinking about how perfection is not possible, but transformation is. Have a fabulous day.